please welcome Brad Tesla. Nine, eight, seven. <laughs> what oh the hell are we doing? Wow. Oh I'm hitting the wrong button. I what fell on the floor. It was so <laughs> sad. Oh gosh. I think we're in good shape. Oh, it's going to be great. We're in so much trouble. I can't believe it. <laughs> Had such a good week last week, and that's all we can do. It's like, Sorry. It's like that sign that says only one day since the last accident. Hey, we got that, one in a row. One in a row is one good. One in a row, and now we're back to people getting hurt. Well, <laughs> welcome to the virtual comedy show where it's gotten a little lax in here. People feel like uh, the conversation just goes until after we start. That's fantastic. But we've got, of course, Steve Goody, everybody, <laughs> our big star is on the show. And of course, hey. uh, Patty Vasquez, who we all still amaze every week that she shows up. And of course, I get to I get to ramble a bit because my name's on the bill. So uh, that's uh, not hey. on the bill. I'm, my name's on the bill that we get taken off if it's not paid. Uh, as, as I said last week, we had uh, sixteen thousand five hundred viewers, uh, which proves you can buy love. I think that's what that proves. Uh, next week we'll be back to our regular forty five viewers. And I will give all the money I spent on ads to Steve to make a quick stop in Amsterdam on the way to Edinburgh. How's that? Oh, sound? it's a deal. That's right. <laughs> Somebody might as well get some real love out there because both Patty and I are married. So uh, <laughs> we're going to live vicariously through you and a hooker. So that'll be great. So anyway. Oh my God. It's terrible. <laughs> it's legal. Steve, you ever oh been God. to a hooker? Steve, you've never been to a hooker. <laughs> We had this conversation, and no, but whatever Wait, whatever we, Sulu is smoking, I want everybody to have some. Yeah, I know. Sulu is <laughs> Sulu's on the giggle pills tonight. That's Man. okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> the only problem is she laughs in the wrong places. <laughs> All right. And one of them is not Amsterdam. So anyway, uh, now we do have some of our favorite talented folks ever on the show. If he, if he gets to stay because uh, the tornado takes him away, we've got uh, super funny comedian Vince Maranto. Yes. He's also in a rush. Vince, wh where are you trying to get off to that you have to leave early? I actually got another, I actually got another show I got to get to. Does that one actually pay money? Yes. I was, oh, you well. know, I was, I was going to say, I, I started to say, I was, I started to say I have to do an actual show, but I said actually, and I insult everyone. We'll take it. Actual is no actual. Actual show. comedy show as hey, opposed to the virtual comedy show. I did. By the way, if you want to donate to this show, Vince may not have a house when he gets back. Yeah. <laughs> and without a doubt, the reason we all get up in the morning just to hope for the day she appears on the show, Carla Albrecht is here on the left of your screen. She'll be. Yes. Uh, Hopefully she's gotten some sleep and uh, gotten used to the CPAP pumping on her husband Joe's face throughout the night. How's that going, Carla? Oh, he forgot to wear it last night, so it's great. Oh. Hey! Oh, so he's dead. Man. All right. Well, hopefully, hopefully you'll make enough money off this show tonight to buy a second bedroom. Uh, <laughs> by the way, which me. This is the second bedroom. <laughs> Looks like you're sleeping on the keyboard. So anyway... Uh, so uh, leads me, um, by the way, uh, in deference to Patty, I'm sure she has nothing to talk about tonight, mm -hmm. uh, which leads me, I'm not going to do any jokes about the uh, shooting at the Trump rally. Uh, no one should be joking, but I will say this. Yes. My goal, you may not believe this, my goal is to keep the orange ones safe. Uh, <laughs> and you should, Sulu, you act like I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. I want the orange ones safe. And you should all vote the way that protects Donald Trump from being hurt because we all want him safe. So you all must vote for Democrats. Right. If Democrats <laughs> had control of the That's House true. and the Senate and presidency, we would have had common sense gun laws and an angry young man would not have access to an AR-15. Mm. So the new mantra for this election, save a Republican, vote Democrat. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's all right. good. All right, here we go. On to what may come across as jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, one of Brett Favre's lawyers was removed from his state civil case to pay back the money he took from a welfare scheme in Mississippi. Judge Faye Peterson removed attorney Daniel Covery for holding up the court. He was sentenced to 15 yards and the loss of the ball. First down. <laughs> don't, even know if, don't even know if that made any sense, but it, I told it anyway. <laughs> homeless people in milwaukee are being told by police they have to move out for the republican convention or be arrested because the gop does not want to see them 
Wow. They were also yeah. offered no place to go or have any services whatsoever, but were promised if Trump is reelected, they will be deported to wherever. <laughs> Where's wherever? Trump doesn't care as long as they're out of the country, even though they're from here. Okay. Where's wherever? Who cares? <laughs> All right. Hey, Dollar General. We love Dollar General, don't we? Who goes to Dollar General? Oh, absolutely. Everybody. Chuck does. Yeah. Steve loves Dollar General. Heck yeah. Dollar General will pay $12 million, $12 million in fines for putting workers in danger at their stores. Some even block the emergency exits with excess merchandise. There have been almost 50 people killed and 172 injured. And because of robberies and other violations, OSHA inspectors said there were probably hundreds of more problems that have not yet been identified. When asked why all the violations haven't been accounted for, one department official said, I ain't going there. It's dangerous. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. It's been a long week, folks. Here we go. I had I had a wasp fight all week. Oh, my God. You know, did you all see that one? My wasp oh. fight? Oh, the I didn't way? write any jokes about it because I fought. I, I my patio uh, had I found some wa a wasp nest on my door. Right. And I threw it off, and they got really angry. No, oh, okay. They waited. They lied and wait for me behind the door till I opened the door, and then they attacked me, and I got a I got a sting on my head. Oh, and then oh, the she should have called Kevin. Out that there was another one. Another no, Kevin and I talked about this. There was another one on my. Uh, didn't we talk about this? Another one on my uh, hose. I found three of them Whoa. in my grill. Three more nests in my grill. Whoa. And uh, oh. I got those out. That's good. And then, <laughs> and then I found one more behind a lantern. So uh, <laughs> sadly, they lost. <laughs> they're, they're gone. Okay, next hey. up. Alec Baldwin was set free after a judge dismissed his manslaughter charge with prejudice. After the prosecutors in New Mexico withheld crucial evidence... Now Baldwin can go back to his greatest acting challenge ever, pretending his wife's Spanish accent is real. That's just... <laughs> I will never not do that joke. I think that's the... Uh... <laughs> Dr. Ruth Westheimer passed mm -hmm. away at the age of 96. Oh, wow. Oh. She has the distinction of being the only person who ever talked endlessly about sex that made me never want to think about sex. <laughs> <laughs> Also, by the way, may not know, Richard Simmons, health expert and exercise expert, Richard Simmons died at the age of 76, which Aww. proves sex is more important than eating right and exercise. There you go. <laughs> Doesn't that prove that? Okay. Yeah. Uh, hey, Trump chose J.D. Vance to be his running mate. By the way, the best part is all they got to do is take the old signs and change the first two letters. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm gonna wait a while and see if y'all get that it's almost yep, Pence, 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 I get it. Oh, I it was, oh. I it was JD uh, Ump. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Vance called Vance called Trump the American Hitler years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Trump, <laughs> Trump said he chose Vance because he just gets me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a good one. That's a joke. That's a joke. Sorry, the rest haven't been so far. <laughs> I don't know. The Richard Simmons one was kind That's of not easy. what I meant. I'm just saying that. The, the, the that thing there about was a joke. Hey, this vest is tight. I'm just, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> 10 years ago, so much better. I got to get back. In October, King Charles III and Queen Camilla will travel to Australia and Samoa. They will attend high level meetings and ask the islanders and their leaders why the hell these people are out of prison. <laughs> 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 Australian was a prison. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Four more, and it's going to then stop being funny. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Start being funny. A Tokyo research group has engineered living human like skin tissue and ligaments to give robots a more natural smile and facial expression. The look can make people more comfortable when dealing with future automatons. That's right. Next, they will work on making the robot's hands super soft so you won't bruise when they rip your arm off. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Kind of. Okay. All right. Three more. 
<laughs> Lulu's has been to the dentist, I think. Who? <laughs> <laughs> she's still she's still hopped up i think yeah she's still got a little of the sodium oh. pen i'm thinking of spreading it around the audience here today <laughs> wow here this is amazing <laughs> i'm waiting for laughs from everyone <laughs> <laughs> so are we here so, all night so are we <laughs> so Steve's are we. dad is laughing so am I. <laughs> hey look over half this room is uh is uh is muted well okay no me no they're not <laughs> There we go. Make, there we go. See, the laughs are only uncomfortable. Here we go. First, hey, Mar um, ooh, a Maryland athletic director is facing criminal charges. This this scares me for the future, right here. A Maryland athletic director is facing criminal charges after he used AI to replicate his principal's voice, releasing racist, homophobic, hateful audio clips all over social media. Oh Isn't my. that scary? Oh. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. The plot backfired when the fake principal voice, uh, principal's voice ended up getting 3 million GOP voters to declare it their messiah. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, that's pretty good. Oh, you know what? Uh, Chicken butt. No, no. <laughs> this is amazing. Paul's son, James McCartney, and John's son, Sean Lennon, have a new song out this week called Primrose Hill. Uh, listening to the song will, of course, remind you of a bygone collaboration from a different era, Nails on a Chalkboard. <laughs> you haven't even heard it. I have heard it. Oh, you have? So I listened to it today. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a namby-pamby. It's, it's like <laughs> a song that should be good, but eh. Have mm -hmm. you heard it? No, I write mostly that kind of song. Oh, that's right. That's it. But then yours is about Harry Potter or something. <laughs> yeah. All right. Last one. We buy those kind of songs. <laughs> you can AI will write one for you in 40 yes. seconds. Oh well. Kate Middleton made her first appearance at the Wimbledon, at the Wimbledon, at Wimbledon, <laughs> alongside her family. And a professional lip reader caught the princess's first words she said to her adoring public watching her. Keep the change, you filthy animals. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the end right. of that one? That's it. That's it. All right. Hey, everybody. It's Brad Tassel. Yay. Brad Tassel right over there. <laughs> <laughs>